Ho ho ho! That's the Elden Ball. So today we'll be doing the Rani's quest. This is my first ever walkthrough, so if you feel anything about it, just let me know in the comments. And I'm trying to get some audience here so that when the DLC drops, we'll be playing it day one. Yeah, so this is going to be a really chill, laid back type of walkthrough. Let's go. These dragons try real quick with the dragon spell, you know, this ancient dragon spell. There we go, there. So the quest starts by you first talking to Rani there and then near the Carrion Mayor. And then you come here to the Seofra River and you talk to that wolf guy standing over there, okay? Good to see you. Apologies, mate. But I don't have much to report. I can see bloody ah, right above Let me. me get the douche. But I'm absolutely stumped. Apologies, me. I can see bloody Nocron right above me. But I'm absolutely stumped. I've tried all the gateways to no avail. Perhaps it's time to ask Celibus. Time to go and meet Celibus. Task was left to you and the mongrel, was it not? Not only are you incompetent, but shameless to boot. Well, there's no helping it. Now's as good a time as any. I'll let you in on it. There's a glintstone sorcerer by the name of Selen in Limgrave. She owes me for the help I gave her when she was expelled from the academy. I asked her to look into the matter some time ago. I'll write you a letter of introduction. Go ask her. You know, in this in this quest, there's a lot of going to this guy, talking to him, going to that guy, talking to him. I don't know if, the, if it was an Assassin's Creed, people would have just, you know, just done that. Sorry. It's a lot of fun, you know, to just go around killing people. I mean, in this game. effect on target I think it's just around here only the waypoint ruins this game just has so much to do and it worth looks so beautiful that I just keep getting distracted just look how beautiful it all looks there is someone inside I think I think a bit come the pumpkin guy is there I think is not a name I ever wanted to hear. But fine. If it will help you, my apprentice. The stars alter the fate of the Karian royal family. And the fate of your mistress, Rani. But long ago, General Radan challenged the swirling constellations. And in a crushing victory, arrested their cycles. 
Now he is the force that repulses the stars. If General Radan were to die, the stars would resume their movement. And so too would Rani's destiny. Rani's fate is kept in state. That reminds me of something. There's a festival being held at the castle on the southern edge of the Kaled Wilds. To the Red Man Castle. Ah, the players are all made up. And wait, let's give them a show to run. Just don't you go dying on me. Now, what you're seeing here, guys, is actually NG Plus gameplay. Okay, on my first playthrough, I absolutely annihilated Radan because I was using the Traitor's Sword. Okay, that sword which heals you, that the great sword there. But in NG plus playthrough, you know, this guy absolutely destroys me. He's very This is the only guy in the game which feels like a real god, you know, a true god. He, he's absolutely badass. One of the best bosses in the game, hands down. Time to remind him of his sister. Just look at that, you know. From Soft's imagination is it's insane. It's absolutely insane. guy was just you know he was a monster in the previous patch from up nerved him but still you know he's just badass he learned gravity magic and was using his body to hold stars in place you know i mean how did from soft come up with this idea i'm just wondering but it's very creative you know to just think of characters like this i mean there are there are a lot of mythologies out there you know, on the so many fantasy games are based like God of War and all. But this thing, like a character holding a star, <laughs> I don't think this is even from any of the mythologies. The glory of the clash is shared by Radan and you. Star, right I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared. To Nokra, where Rani's fate will be decided. That's where the star fell. And at this time of the night, you know, your character starts growing older. Can anyone tell me? I don't know what this indicates. I don't know what this means. There we are. So, we, so I've reached the city. Now there are some very generic run of the mill enemies here, so I'll just clear them out real quick. Okay, we'll get to the main stuff.
Oh, look at that. You, you see these internal cities that don't have sky. You, you see stars in them, but they don't have a sky. You must be thinking it's because they're underground. But no, there is a lore related reason for this why they don't have a sky. It was actually stolen by a monster. And we'll be fighting that monster, okay? And yeah, this is not the monster who stole the sky, by the way. This is a, essentially my copy you're seeing, it's the Mimic Tear, and you're fighting your own copy. One thing, uh, all of this reminds me, you know, of the old gen NES games, and you know, the PS2 era games in which, you know, devs often used to do that creativity thing that by the end of the game, you often used to fight a copy of your character. If, if you remember, th there was that game Double Dragon on NES, and in that game, what used to happen is that Towards the end, we used to fight copies of our characters. So FromSoft takes a lot of good pieces from old games, you know, and put them in their games. That's what that's what I love about them. I came to this area on my first playthrough, but I I didn't do this quest completely because I wasn't sure where to go. And on my first playthrough, I was so tired of this game. Actually, it's it's kind of blow. It feels kind of oh big, too big sometimes. So I didn't do this quest. Okay, and FromSoft they do hide content well in their game, so it's okay, it's cool. But at the same time. They should not hide content in such a way that you always have to consult internet to fully enjoy or complete. Uh, this wasn't a, at all intuitive. I mean, if you are into Souls games, you can pretty much easily guess this, that you have to jump here. And as I guessed it right now, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not really consulting a wiki side by side, but still, you know, it's pretty unintuitive. On my first playthrough, what I did is I went straight through, fought some ancestral spirits, you know, and reached that uh, another city, I think, yeah, where you do the Fias quest. But yeah, I didn't do, I didn't get this. I did some hard, I did some hard work to get this shield, and it's really, really paying off. You know, you, you can find it in the mountain top of the giants. Okay, it's it's in a big garrison. It's unmissable. Yeah. Another crazy jump, you see? This was also, you know, not... It wasn't that obvious. Not a lot here, so I'll be just fast forwarding this. Okay. There was a lot of fighting there, so that's why I didn't cut it from the video. So if you want to see it, you can see it. Okay. <laughs> so many of these, so many of these big ass naughty balls here. 
and in in previous souls games they were usually controlled by someone like a giant would be throwing them at you something like that but at this game they just completely went nuts. they are self-animated okay maybe the ancient civilizations have the magic to animate a big ass ball one thing about Elden Ring is that if you have played previous Souls games, if, if you are a newbie to these games, you'll be you'll be in love with this game and all, I don't know. But if you have already played a lot of Souls games, uh, you will sometimes think of Elden Ring as every Souls concept cobbled together, okay? It sometimes doesn't feel that original, okay? What I wanted from FromSoft was a sequel to Sekiro. Instead, that gave us this game. It's not that I'm hating it. But, uh, you know, I think FromSoft really need to get more original now before they make their own formula generic. Okay. All these cities about which you don't know, all this cryptic dialogue. My thanks. Soon must I begin my journey. Big bosses, everything, everything about these games. It's all good and fun. But it is nothing new. Or original for someone who's playing Dark Souls for the past, you know, since the time Dark Souls has been around. Dark Souls has been around since the past 10 years or so. So yeah, they, they really need to do something about this formula. I still haven't played Armored Core. If you want me to play that, I'll, I'll absolutely buy that anyways. And that city, we found an artifact. Okay. Yeah, near, the, there, near the fight where I... There was where I was fighting that giant. It was there, okay. And after finding that artifact, we have to give it to her. And now she has said that she wants to go on a journey. But then I checked the wiki and we have to go to yet another city. Okay. Oh, they're riding ants here, huh? This shield is the most insane troll object in this game. It's, it's awesome. I still haven't used it in PvP. But I think you can just, you know, bait someone to attack you and then you can literally misuse it a lot. So after some hopping around, you'll eventually end up here in this lake. And as you must have remembered, everyone was hyping up this lake a lot. It's the lake of the lot or whatever. But you can really very easily go across it. Okay. It looks very cryptic and ancient and awesome there is a lot of imagination and creativity here but yeah it's just there you know there's not a lot of gameplay element here to this lake we just spam a spell that's it this place looks like it's on all londo but more evil you know <laughs> just look at the ai it hit that guy and he's not tracking the source of sound he's going towards his dead dude you, you hit this one, he goes there. You hit that one, he goes there. These locations look very cool though, you know. If anyone is experiencing a Souls game for the first time and if... I mean, they will be seeing all these locations and... They will feel so new to them. It would be an awesome feeling for someone. <laughs> oh, you, find a, you found a bear, huh? It's as if you go around in the wild and you go to an ancient city and then you find a bed and you just sleep in that. <laughs> and then you wake up in a random location, you know. This happens to me also that I sometimes sleep in my bed, but then I wake up in someone else's bed. <laughs> oh, look at that gate, you know. So, now we are going to fight that guy who stole the sky, okay. And this is one of the coolest bosses in this game. And that this is the main reason why I'm actually doing this quest, because I had to fight this guy. He's actually also there in the trailer, okay. And in the trailer for Elden Ring, they highlighted all the important things all the important uh, aspects of the game and this boss was there in the trailer too. Not this time, honey, not this time. Oh, 
Oh, oh. I wish that power was there in the game where you can just you know, slam people in the ground. took me a lot of tries okay <laughs> at this spell i think spamming the spell is the best way to kill large monsters in this game you saw initially how you killed the dragon okay so guys that's it for it if you like it please do let me know and i'll do more walkthroughs okay next time they will be more structured this is just my first time doing a walkthrough so i'm just testing the waters here okay so please do let me know if you want more of this stuff i'll be happy to bring it